Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you a TV season review your way. Yes, guys, if you've been following the Movie Throne, you know I did, I think, the pilot episode review on La Brea. Well, I stuck it through. I watched all 10 episodes, and I'm here to do the finale review, or the whole entire series as a whole how I like it, how I hated it, if you guys should check it out, etc. But just in case you didn't tune in for that, well, this is not non-spoilers. I'm going to give you a brief synopsis. And Anyways, guys, it's basically a massive sinkhole takes place in the middle of Los Angeles. Chaos goes down. Cars are going down there. It manages to separate a family who's working through some issues, you know, apart. They end up going through the sinkhole. Half of them, mother and son, they go down with a whole bunch of other strangers who need to survive the whole traumatic experience. They do survive through this ankle. They don't know. They thought they were going to die at first, but we found out they're alive through this character, Gavin, which has been having these visions, thinking that he's going nuts. But he's the father of the son who went down and his wife or ex-wife. I don't even know what the situation is. I think they're estranged because of what went down. But you learn as the series goes, the whole truth that... He wasn't nuts after all. He was telling the truth. He sees these visions and then he's connected somehow to the shit that's going down. And of course, that leaves him up there with his daughter, who uh, you find out tragically through a car accident that she loses one of her limbs. And I'll just leave it at that because you guys can watch it for yourself because it's only 10 episodes. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So that he's trying to figure out a way to get back down there to save his family. They're trying to figure out a way to survive and get the hell back up. They find out that they can kind of communicate through some little trickery, I'll just say that, which is pretty interesting. You know, they got dinosaurs and saber tooth tigers and shit like that. That's a spoiler, but there's crazy shit like that. It kind of reminds me of Lost, but on a lesser scale, guys, okay? Because that's at first, when I started watching this, I'm like, oh no, here's another stupid Lost knockoff. You know, we haven't seen Lost in a while, but... I was quite surprised, you know, 10 episodes, I go, okay, they could, you know, fill a whole bunch of cool stuff in there and not let it drag on, and you're like, oh my god, it took 22 episodes just to get from point A to B, and we're like, are you serious? And there will be a, a second season, I can tell you right now, it's been greenlit and shit, and as it should be, because it ended well. Some of the actors, guys, so the uh, Natalie Zaya plays Eve, that's the mother, Yoan McKen plays Gavin, that's the father who has these crazy-ass visions. Zyra Gorecki plays Izzy, the daughter who lost the limb. But she's strong as hell. She's she's a tough cookie. Uh, you got Jack Martin, who plays Josh. That's the son. So that's the immediate family. And then, of course, the you'll find out other stuff that the mother has done that kind of is related to her daughter's accident and the stress between the, you know, the couple's relationship. Uh in the form of Nicholas uh, Gonzalez. He plays in The Good Doctor. He was on there. He was uh, one of the doctors that passed. He plays Levi. So he's the in, the catalyst that stirs things up here and there. And we don't know where that's going to go. But it's very interesting to see his uh, interaction with uh, the father, Gavin. It's pretty cool. There's a couple of scenes in the series that, okay, put this aside. This, you know, beef we have. You know, I know we're best friends, but... We gotta save my family kind of crap. You'll see it for yourselves. That's mid season. Then you got other cool actors, supporting actors, like you know, strangers. Uh you have Chico Okonawando, he plays Ty. He's a psychiatrist that reveals something to us that uh his time might be limited on this earth. Let's just say that. You got Kareen Logue, I think she played the police officer that's dealing with an estranged son that has issues with her. You'll find out exactly mid season. What's going on? You got Verona St. Clair and John Seda. They play Sam, father and daughter. Uh, apparently, she was supposed to go to school. You find out she drops out. Her father's a doctor. They kind of see each other after the longest time. I don't know if he was going to go visit her or whatever the crap, but everybody has some issues and stuff. So that's their relationship. They're trying to mend things up and whatever. And that's kind of the daughter, Veronica, plays the love interest of the kid, Josh, which is interesting. Developing shit. You know how it works, guys. You have to have some sort of love interest in the whole show. You got 
Nicholas Gonzalez, which I mentioned, he's the pilot who was uh, called upon, was ex-best friend with Gavin, the main guy that can see these visions to kind of save the family. But holy shit, lots of obstacles, twists and turns. When you think they're going to take a couple steps forward, they go a couple steps backwards. Uh, you meet, there's more than one kind of tribe that have been living down there. And this has been going on apparently for a while. We don't know exactly how long, but it's been going on. But pretty cool. You can see the elements of Lost. A lot of people getting shot. A lot of people getting killed because... When you get stir crazy, you've seen how we go stir crazy for COVID. You imagine down there and you're trying to figure out how we're going to get back home. Are we going to survive? And what the hell do we have to deal with, basically, right? But they, met the, they meet these other people who are kind of like back to kind of like caveman dudes. I don't know, with clubs and shit, using bow and arrows to attack them. And they just want to solve things and get home. And, you know, it's pretty cool the way that happens. Um, every person who happens to die in this has a purpose. And you feel something. There's close connections. This series, within the 10 episodes, managed to build the relationships from the different characters, even the side characters as well. And they all fit very well. Um, it's a very simple plot, guys. So it's basically disaster happens. Shit goes down. They're trying to survive. Some people are trying to figure their way home, encounter shit down there, while a bunch of other guys don't know exactly what's going down there, but they're trying their best to kind of Get down there to rescue them. It's very simple but well written. And uh, the finale, like I was wondering, like, okay, I already watched two episodes in when I first did my pilot review. And then I just, let me just watch the rest of my own and see if I'm going to follow through. And then I'm like, okay, 10 episodes, perfect. Watch the finale, wanted to see how it landed. And in my personal opinion, I think it did a good job of uh, tying up the first season story arc and then introducing us to a new possibility because the way the cliffhanger happens it's like are you god are you kidding me you know but it, it was it was cool and unique how they tied a uh, main key thing it's about i think episode six that there's a little boy that's connected to this whole thing and you kind of like put two to two together and the way they did it, it's cool and then you had another side character that you thought that you know wasn't relevant at all but i kind of figured that she might be that she's also a part of it and you'll know exactly what i mean when you start to watch the show about two three episodes in and then her character does a twist in it she's able to do something she couldn't do before or she didn't want to do and then it's just crazy and then how events of what was going on present time is now in the past but not in the past and then yeah, and how someone has to do what they need to do as hard as it is in order to keep people alive during the past. It's one of those uh, unique situations, and it does go down. And then this person didn't get to do what she wanted to do. I'll give you that she. And all of a sudden, she's like, how am I supposed to get something to this person when they're not there anymore? And he's like, oh, shit. And then all of a sudden... You got people from the surface doing something to kind of try, you know, one last dish at your effort to get down to her to rescue. And they do something and then, whoa, you're like, what the hell just happened, right? You thought maybe as this thing was going down in the last few moments of the finale, something else totally happens. And it's like, okay, now where did these uh, characters go off to? And you kind of see where the other ones that were above the surface end up somewhere you know particularly down there but it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to switch their narrative now we're going to follow the people who kind of like blinked and disappeared somewhere with this person who disappeared and the rescuers now that are on thing are they going to be able to rescue who they think they are and how are they going to react with the events that hey i got came down here to kind of do what i need to do and now that's kind of been foiled or sidetracked because now they got to figure out something else so I love the back and forth, uh, you know, things. You got the mysterious people. Uh, you got one funny dude who likes to get high and shit. He ends up going off with this other person who has more answers that she wants to reveal or tell anybody. So she's kind of dragged him somewhere. I have to go somewhere. So that's kind of where that left off. And that introduces another can of worms for them to deal with. So a lot of little subplots here and there within one big plot. It all works. I totally enjoyed it. I was honestly surprised because I was like, okay, beginning's not bad, not the greatest. 
How's the ending going to be? Are they going to be able to land it? In my personal opinion, I think they landed it well. I'm not going to say it's the greatest thing I've seen because I still haven't seen Lost. Yes, I'm one of those bozos. I haven't seen Lost to kind of say, you know what? Is it more of that? So I'm just loosely basing on the overall picture of what Lost was, plot point, and how shitty it apparently ended compared to this. And I see a little bit of similarities, but I'm not going to be able to define them and say, you know what? This reminds me of this and of the episode in season one. No, none of that shit because I have no clue. But that is my honest opinion on La Brea. I hope you guys loved my season one review on the thing. I totally tell you to check it out, guys. And uh, like I always tell you guys, see it for yourselves. Don't let it listen to anybody else. Let the haters be haters. You're the ultimate judge. You can only get an idea. This is only my opinion. But in my personal opinion, I would check it out. It's only 10 episodes. It's uh, very well written. And I would suggest it to anybody. So there you go, guys. That's my La Brea Season 1 episode on madness. Let's just say that, okay? Uh, go check it out for yourself. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other content, my other reviews right here on the Movie Throne. New content usually, content usually drops, guys, weekly, especially on a Saturday and Sunday. If there's something major during the week, I will do so, just like this video. And I'll keep it as short, sweet, and whatever that you guys can join. And like I always say, go in the comment section below. Try not to spoil any of the plots, guys, because I kept it spoiler-free. Just leave your comments. Tell me if you liked it, you hated it. Did you expect more? Did you uh, was totally surprised like I was? Let me know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear it. And like always, guys, go do your Christmas shopping. Stay off the king's throne, and life will be good for everybody. Okay? Until then. Be the hell good. I'll see you guys very soon where? Right here on the movie throne. Take it easy, guys.